This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good evening, I'm Sean Gable. CBS 46 is your vaccine team. Governor Kemp rolling out more mass vaccination sites. In Chatham, Ware, Washington, Bartow, and Muskogee counties, which will increase our weekly capacity at state sites to 45,000 doses for all nine locations. The state's largest school district will start vaccinating its employees next week. According to a district spokesperson, Gwinnett County Public Schools employees will get their first shots on Monday. Gwinnett, Newton and Rockdale County Health Departments will administer the shots. Last week, Governor Kemp announced March 8th would be the first day educators are eligible to receive the vaccine. UGA says it will return to in-person learning in the fall. Summer will remain in the face-to-face -face hybrid or online formats. Fall will return to normal for the first time since spring of 2020. The announcement comes as more vaccine options are available. The university will monitor whether it needs to scrap the plan. The Cab County health officials say makeup appointments are now available for people who missed their initial appointment to get their second dose of the COVID vaccine. Appointments were canceled about two weeks ago when winter weather gripped the country. Shots are being given out at the old Sam's Club on Turner Hill Road and the Doraville Marta Station. Bolton Elections Director Richard Barron will get to keep his job if he wants it. The county overrode the election board's vote to remove Barron. Election board members pointed to recent chaotic elections where Barron was frequently blamed for problems at the polling sites. Today's vote lets Barron stay on the job. New details. Construction workers made a disturbing discovery this morning when they found a body at the Brookhaven construction site. It was inside the fencing. Officers also used drones to comb the scene, looking for any evidence that would help explain what happened. The officers are trying to, to work to determine the cause and manner of death. Um, they'll look for any obvious signs of injuries or any indication that might help us understand why this person is deceased. The medical examiner is now investigating the death. Ironically, the body was found at a site that will be the home of a future police station. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.